Hello everybody, welcome back to an episode of Just So Dumb playing Persona 4 Golden. Last episode we had some stuff happen. I don't remember it, all of it because there's just so much stuff happening. And today we're going to just go and continue. I'm going to go and finish my book on courage, I think, since I cannot leave the house right now. Wait, uh, our good old Dojima in the house. Alright, every chapter begins. All men... <laughs> All men have the great spirit of masculinity within themselves. And yeah, the rest I've already read. Courage has significantly increased. Oh yeah, from average to reliable. Nice. Awesome. I like that. I like seeing that. Alright, Friday the 6th. There you go. Damn it, I just fixed this thing. It's making squeaking sounds again. <laughs> Maybe you need a new one. Huh? Yeah. Hey, by the way, I'm sorry about the other day. You know, about what I said to Nanako-chan. After hanging out with Nanako-chan, I feel even stronger that we have to solve this case. We'll do our best. Yeah. You know, Chie and Yukiko seem different lately. They're a lot closer. Oh yeah, I was just curious, but are you... I, never mind. You know, if we keep chatting, we're gonna be late. <laughs> what are you? Man, school's such a chore. And now my bike's messed up too. The roads are much wider here than in the city, so I keep speeding. I guess that did it. <sighs> oh well. Until I get my motorcycle license, I'll just have to walk. <laughs> kind of wondering what kind of a walk it would be. Oh boy, time to get inter <laughs> time to get some intervention from my club people. Oh no, wait, it's yours again. What's up? If you feel this afternoon, can you come with me? There's a place I want to go. Uh, maybe we can hang out with him. And <laughs> she is probably also going to appear. Wait, is is Friday a Friday a club day? No. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. On the roof. Think about it. Okay. So I can hang out with Chie or Yosuke. I think I want to hang out with Chie. Yeah, sure. Oh wait, first. Oh, why do the holidays have to end so fast? At least they were peaceful. I listened in on the housewives gossiping at Juness. But it doesn't seem like anything happened, and I haven't heard anything about someone disappearing suddenly either. You think Yukiko could have been the last of the victims? <laughs> I thought this is over. Hmm. I don't know. But we shouldn't relax as long as the culprit remains at large. I wonder, will someone show up on TV again if it rains? We only knew a little more about who the killer might be. Eh, it's no good fretting over it now. If someone does show up on the Midnight Channel, then we'll deal with it. It's supposed to start raining soon, but I hope this weather holds through next week. You know, midterms. Ah, uh, you had to go and bring that up. I don't want to think about it. <sighs> I wish I had Yukiko's gift for studying. Hey, Yosuke! Why don't you have Yukiko go over some of the material with you? Hmm? Oh, that's right. Yukiko's ranked at the top on every exam. Maybe I should ask her for some private lessons. <laughs> private lessons? <laughs> oh, boy. Huh? What's wrong? <laughs> Ow! What was that for? I'm just asking you to help me study. Oh, I'm sorry, you were talking about studying. Jesus. I thought it might have been an off-color joke. Arian has had some strange oh, I see. lately. That sucks. If you thought it was a joke, then just shrug it off. Sorry, my hand moved without thinking. Jeez. Thanks a lot, Chie, for bringing up the whole studying thing. <laughs> well, what did I do? Uh, you're the one who made it sound creepy and wrong. Private lessons, huh? What? Then it's mostly my fault? Oh, I should start heading home. Ah, <laughs> oh, good idea. I'm unfortunately gonna have to hang out with one of these two people. Uh, Alright. Let's go and save my game! I think it's probably a good idea for me to go and hang out with the Yuki Koden. Why? Because I already have like a higher rank with Yosuke. 
And it doesn't matter really. Right, let's go to the roof and hang out with Chie. And since I have Eligor, I can get even more things. Chie looks happy. As she should. <laughs> no. Samegawa. Or Samegawa, sorry, River Bank. Hmm, this looks like a good spot. You know, for training. I need to hone my kicking skills or I won't be able to use them in battle. I tried practicing at home, but my mom and dad yelled at me for putting a hole in the, in the shochi. Still, now's the time to train, right? Sure. You think so too? Gee, it looks really happy. So, let's train together. No? I'm cool with it. Yes, thanks! That thing, you know, from that time. I mean, the shadow that came out of me. Feel pathetic knowing that's another me. Makes me feel like I gotta work out harder. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Maybe you, uh, uh, between you and me will be unstoppable. This marks the beginning of your training with Chia. You feel your relationship with Chia? Let's go a bit deeper. Nice. Rank up to two, because I haven't spent as much time. No. <laughs> go hard has, effect has affected her persona as well. That's rebellion. I have no idea what that is. Let's start today with frog leaps. Come on, you try some. Later. You trained with Chie for a while and walked part way home with her. Nice suit. Welcome back. <laughs> Told you I was here. Fuck. <laughs> you should leave her alone. I thought we had a better relationship going on right now, but I guess no. Nothing catches your eye, Dojima's in the house. Hey. Our things should be used by living. I guess I can talk to him. Huh, you bored? We'll have a seat. Oh, can I can I create a new link? Hmm. You haven't had time to talk like this since you got here, huh? Dojima is desperately casting about for a topic to discuss to discuss. No, well, how's school? It's fun. I see. I see, that's good to hear. Your school days will be over before you know it. Make sure you have fun while you can. Dojima is nodding to himself. What else? Oh yeah, how about your friends? Looks like you've made plenty of them. <laughs> Touch my scar. <scum. laughs> not saying you can, you can and can't. I'm not saying who you can and can't hang out with, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. Huh? huh. So you did notice? Don't you must know. <laughs> For some reason, wherever there's an accident, uh, incident, there you are. Wish I didn't have to consider this, but the killings began around the time you came to town. My job is all about eliminating the ran random elements. I look only at the facts. If you keep getting caught up in my job, then... What's what? wrong? There we go. <laughs> Big Bro didn't do anything bad. I, I know, I, I didn't mean it like that. But... You're bullying him. <laughs> I'm not bullying him, we were just having a little talk. It's getting late, go to sleep. Okay. <sighs> Sheesh. She's really taking a shine to you. Look, just don't get yourself involved in anything dangerous. As long as you're safe, everything's fine. Your parents uh, didn't ask me to raise your grades or anything. Seems Dojima is generally worried about you. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Dojima. This is the reason why I talk to him. This is the reason. Even more social links. Um, the Hierophant Arcana. Okay. Well, another thing to work on. Joyous occasions. Things here might be a little different from what you're used to, but this is a good time. Though it's a little more dangerous right at the moment. Now then, it's about time for you to turn in. Go get some sleep. Night. Night. You said good night to Dojima when you room. Cool. Need to remember to watch the thing at Sunday morning. You overheard students talking. All this rain, I hate rain. It's supposed to keep raining until this event too. Or whatever. Or until this evening too. Speaking of misery, midterms start next Monday. They even post the results up for everyone to see. Oh, don't worry about it. Your life isn't going to be ruined by one little piece of paper, is it? What? How can you possibly believe that? Getting good grades has benefits, uh, has benefits when interacting with people. Talented people uh, really are more highly valued in society, aren't they? Is there anything happening on Saturday? Uh, yes, but it's raining, so there's no sports. 
Okay. Good. Miss OSO, have you picked up the latest edition of Bullet Teacher yet? Oh, whoopsie, that's the lady. Of course I did, but it's raining today. I hope I can uh, I can get it home without getting all uh, getting it all wet. Wait, have I missed something? Are there new books? Yes, there are new books. Damn it. So uh, does everyone have an extra book cover? It'd be kind of a lemme. Oh, whoops, I have to start a lecture. Don't try to distract me while I'm talking about books. Anyway, today we're gonna we're going to discuss Kokoro by Soseki Natsume. Open your textbooks. Before we get to the actual literature, I'll ask a question about Soseki himself. Hmm, how about there, chan the city boy? Oh boy. Do you know how uh, Soseki Natsume translated the English phrase I love you into Japanese? Wait, what? So, do you know how Sosaki Natsume translated the English phrase I love you into Japanese? Um, I could die? <laughs> I love thee, the moon is beautiful, isn't it? I have no idea. Oh, you're very knowledgeable, yep, he translated the message. <laughs> nice. By the way, the person who translated it, uh, it asked I could die, was Shime Shimei Fut Futabate, another prominent Meiji era writer. Though he translated it from Russian, not English, it's still similar in that they didn't know, or they didn't do direct translations. Like then in Japan, there wasn't the same direct expression of love that we have now, so they have had to get creative. It's a subtle, endearing translation, much like the Japanese language itself. Anyway, let's get back to uh, into Kokoro. Your knowledge has increased. Yes, more knowledge. Right, and more cutscenes. You hear thunder rumbling. Hey, Chie, I bought you a new copy of that Trial of the Dragon flick. It was the greatest punches version for 980 yen. If I knew then, I'd just replaced it instead of buying you grilled steak. This is clearly getting closer. Huh? What are you, scared of a little lightning? Quiet, you! I'd be a goner if even one of those things hit me. <laughs> You're freaking out way too much. Come on, shouldn't weather like this help with your kung fu training? A bolt of lightning would hit and it'd give you the inspiration for a new move. There was a scene like that in your DVD, wasn't there? You jerk! You don't even care how I feel! If lightning has to strike someone, let it be this guy! <laughs> oh boy. Huh? Is this a blackout? That's what you get for saying that stuff, Chia. Looks like I better hurry up and head to work. Depending on how produce sells today, I might get a little bonus in my pay for the week. This weather may keep customers away, but I gotta do my best if I'm gonna save up for a motorcycle. It's from my manager. Hello? Uh, Yosuke-kun? Hmm. Uh, some of the power in the store is out after that lightning strike. C could you come in early today? All the refrigerated shelves have stopped running. It's looking like we'll have to close up the produce section early today. Wait, what? But my pay! Anyway, I need you here to help deal with this mess. I'm counting on you! Goodbye! Wait! Right. <laughs> Oofus. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> uh, why did this have to happen? Hey, Yukiko! Can we just go home? Chie, do you know this story? girl forgot her homework, so she snuck into school in the middle of the night, but she suddenly needed to use the bathroom. She ventured into the girl's room where all the lights were off. No one should have been there, but in the mirror... Hold it right there! What are you talking about?! <laughs> huh? It's a ghost story. I thought you liked them. Yeah, but why tell it now?! She is on the verge of tears. What should you do? Oh boy, I think I do want to comfort her. <laughs> Don't want her to start Thanks. crying. I'm glad you're here. That's not. That's not. That's not my style. <sighs> Why don't you just have him escort you back home, Chie? Uh, are you making fun of me? Well, yeah. With how freaked out you are, can you blame me? Hey. Oh, the power's back! Come on, Yukiko. Let's go home. Leave in a hurry. Okay. <sighs> it's classes have ended today. So thunderstorm. What am I gonna do in a thunderstorm? Um. So there's no. 
There's no acting shenanigans happening today. There are new books that I should go and check out. Uh, aside from that... Uh, yeah, aside from that, there's nothing, really. Cool. So, Yosuke also needs to increase his rank. But... It's raining. So, and he also needs to go in here. Help the store. So, that's not happening. Uh, anything else that there's on this thing except for the midterm shenanigans? Nope. Okay. Let's go and GTFO. Can I just walk around on the street when it's when there's a thunder storm happening? Yes, I can. <laughs> I don't know. Could be something with like, hey, you have to go home quickly. Um... Now that I'm thinking about it. Because I have a couple of these, but I don't have that many. And I kind of need some other personas. Hmm. Let's go and check it out. Welcome. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Something's happened. Marie isn't here and there's something on the floor. Something is different. Marie's nowhere to be found. If you're looking for Maria, I sent her on an errand. She should be back soon. An errand? Oh, please don't be concerned. This errand is, of course, pertaining to those of us who reside within the Velvet Room. I would never allow her to roam your world freely by herself. There's a piece of paper on the floor. Oh. What is that? She must have dropped it. <laughs> it seems that the piece of paper belongs to Marie. You notice something written on it. Perhaps you should return it to her. Ah! <laughs> ah wait, no! Marie frantically snatches the paper away from you. What is this? What are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? Did you look? You buried it. Huh? <laughs> Sneaky jerky, you bully. Marie voted the official asshole of the Asylvania. Marie's blushing furiously. Oh, I just forget this happened, all of it. I'm hypnotizing you now. Sleep, sleep. You didn't see anything. Now wake up. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite an interesting reaction. <laughs> is this what is on the paper really that embarrassing? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Yes. Welcome, my butt. That was close. Maria turns to her seat and fidgets restlessly. <laughs> okay, something happened. I don't know what, but something happened. Okay, so. Let's see. Shank Compendium. Uh, I have Oro Boss. Let's see, because... If I remember correctly, I have a Hierophant. I have to work on right now, and a Justice. Arcana. And also a Hermit Arcana. Right. So I'm going to get Angel. Yes. There we go. I'm also going to get Fornius for the Hermit. Or maybe I shouldn't quite yet. Um, I think the Strength one is the most important. Like, I'm sorry, the other one is a little bit more important, I think. <laughs> and I go all the way down. Judgment and... Okay. That's it. Bum, bum, bum. I'm kind of wondering when I can go and do stuff for this fox. Let's see. What will you do except the Emma's request? Infinity of the Hermit Arcana. Fornius level 6. Oh wow, it actually tells me Oh my god, it tells me about the personas that... Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm gonna go and get a Hermit Persona, then I'm gonna do this, I think. Well, it's either this or continue increasing my stats. I'd rather just continue working on some social shenanigans. On a social link. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> And I'm back. I'm drenched, but I'm back. Not fuse. Check compendium. View compendium. Okay. Give me a hermit. Fornius. Not too expensive, sir. There we go. Right, see ya. <laughs> Just being like, hello, and uh, goodbye. I want to take a look at my social stats for a moment. Uh, status. My... Not persona. Um... My social stats. So I've, I don't have a lot of diligence quite yet, or understanding, or expression. Okay. 
<laughs> Expression rough. Yes. I probably could have just teleported over there, but man, I'm already going. I don't care. I want to continue playing this game so much, but I can't. <laughs> after this episode, I have to stop. There's nothing I can do after this. I'm sorry, there's something I have to do after this. Alright. Hello, Fox! The Fox brought you an Emma with a wish written on it. This Emma is written in rounded characters, probably a young girl's handwriting. I want things to go well with the person I like. It seems the Fox wants you to fulfill the wish written on the Emma on its behalf. You could be thinking that if wishes are fulfilled, the more money will put in the offer tree box. If you fulfill the wish on the Emma, your relationship with the Fox may grow stronger. Accept the request? Sure. Mm. Fox seems happy. This is interesting. Okay, so it's not what I expected. Now I'm supposed to do a quest. <laughs> also, I haven't found the second quest. I wish for love. An Emma requested from the shrine. A girl wishes to have things go well with the boy she likes. Hmm. Intriguing. Okay. Let's go and leave the shopping district. Uh, can I get another piece of vegetable at Juness? Aha! Tiny salt tomatoes, yes, give them. There we go. <laughs> Definitely need to teleport over there. I think that's all I wanted. Oh, wait, no. Um, <laughs> since I also still have some time, I might as well go over to uh, the northern parts and go and do a little bit of a challenge. Spend more money, because. Oh, wait, this is like the really big one, right? Yes. How much money do I have left? Okay, sure. I'll go and go into the TV world in the next day. Or like one of the upcoming days. Still can't see the rice. <laughs> it does increase a lot of my things. You tried your best. Knowledge has increased, courage, and diligence, and that's it. Right. I can also technically do my job. <laughs> like I do have a part-time job that I can technically do. Stop raining, but the thunder was loud. Were you scared, big bro? Not really. Okay, so I can hang out with her. Nothing catches you, right? I do have the persona required, so... Sure, that's it. She's not doing anything. So if you have Angel, I can get my relationship going. <laughs> yes. Nanako looks happy. Spend the precious moment with Nanako. You feel your relationship is going to become closer soon. Oh, I see. It's... Alright. <laughs> and goodbye. I still forgot to buy books. Oh yay, my midterms start tomorrow. <laughs> Joy! Oh, hello. Would you mind hanging out with, it, with me for a while today? I need to get my mind off of studying for a bit. Um... Uh, discover personas with affinity of the most powerful Yes, I know. You don't need to. Yep, I know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's nice. Um, sure. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, a lot of noise. Is it Sunday today? Fuck. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not gonna be. <laughs> guess I'm not gonna be checking out the channel. Fantastic, enthusiastic today as usual, or as well, huh? Yeah. What are you doing? Huh? Training, of course. Training. Who are you fighting with, Chia? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> Myself, I guess. <laughs> Just kidding. Wow, cool. <laughs> you think? Oh, a grasshopper. Huh? <laughs> no, no, no! I wear. <laughs> it landed on your back. <laughs> get it off! Get it off me! Now I go took the grasshopper off of Chia's back. You don't like grasshoppers? I'm no good with anything with thin jointed legs or anything creepy or squirmy. Ah, now I can't get it out of, out of my mind. I can't stand those things. But they're cute. You're like Yukiko. Oh, I see, because Yukiko is around, fine around bucks. But me, I totally lose it. Kind of funny, huh? 
Um, why do I? These choice. I'm not. I'm not a fan of these choices. It's hilarious, kind of. I guess I'll say it's cute. Sure. You don't have enough courage. Fuck your game. <laughs> it's hilarious. Doesn't really fit my image, does it? I need to have more courage to say some things. A lot of kids in my class don't like bugs. It's not like it's not just you. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, you, you, uh, you, you don't know how happy that makes me. Thanks. Come on, wanna train too? <laughs> Let's start with form. I'll teach you a kata. And began training. You sent Nanako home before it got dark. I'm gonna get wet. Uh, get, uh, okay, excuse me. That was the wrong. That was the very wrong choice of words. I'm gonna get over my fear of bugs. I don't want to look like a sissy next to Nanako chan. All I have to do is think of them as shadows, then I'll be able to grab the whole fistful. I just gave myself goosebumps. Getting uh, used to bugs might take a while, but I won't lose the shadows. Felt his burning passion. Hey! Rank up! Right, you can now do a follow-up attack when you knock down an enemy in battle, who ally will sometimes follow up. Ooh. Interesting. Later. After finishing your training, you walk Parkway home with Chien. That's a pretty good thing. I need to get Yusuke on the third level also. He's technically available to do mm. that. Nanako seems to be lost in thought. Ask her what's wrong. You ask her what's wrong. Um, well... Nanako fidgets. <laughs> at school yesterday. They said today is Mother's Day. My teacher told us that's a day when you give your mom flowers. I don't have a mom, so I don't know what to do with these flowers. Nanako seems upset. Hmm. Not sure what to do over here. I guess, sure, let's go and give them to her dad. Seems huh? a more positive thing. But it's Mother's Day! Is it okay to give them to dad? I would say so, he would like it. Okay, then I'll give them to him. Um, I did a really good job. My teacher said they were pretty. <laughs> I wonder if dad will be happy to get them. Kind of. I think it's gonna be a double thing. You should make a flower too, big bro. Then we can celebrate Mother's Day together. This is gonna be awkward. And I'm not sure how Dojima is gonna react. We did it! You place the finished flowers on the table along with a letter to Dojima. It's gonna need to put Nanako to bed and head back to your room. Alright, I can do something. Um, work table. I think I see benefits of working. <laughs> that is an interesting question. What is the benefit of working? Let's go make some envelopes so I can get some money. Start to work on making envelopes. You quietly continue to dull task. Digital, digital, diligence has been increased. Speed of the pace. Um, sure. Can I do that with... You became exhausted in the middle of your work and couldn't achieve your goal. <laughs> God. Damn it. Foiled again. Alright, your first <laughs> term midterms begin today and continue th uh, through Thursday. You should hurry to home. Oh, to school. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez, words. A violently erupting. Sounds of flashing. Hmm. Hello, Chia. Sounds of finding starting today. Daylight's harsh. <laughs> Have you ever studied for them? Can't you tell? Do I look like I'm ready? <laughs> and even once exams are over, we're not done with the case. All this suppressing stuff's not just gonna keep going and going on and on and on. Here we go, people. Time to make a fool out of myself. Midterms, day one. What is it called when muscles grow after exercise? Exercise. It is overcompensation. I think. <laughs> I feel you've chosen the correct answer. What is the year before 1 AD called? That would be 1 BC. I do remember a couple of these things. It's a good thing that I edited my videos today. Which of these types of numbers does not exist? Uh, that would be marriage numbers. 
If you have chosen the correct answer. Which one said, I love you as the moon is beautiful, isn't it? Um, I think... That was Sosuke Natsume. My god, if only I could answer this easy in real life. Let's see. Who said, as soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom? That would be Pythagoras. It's a good thing I just finished Assassin's Creed Odyssey. <laughs> Even though it has nothing to do with it. Which of the following is the highest mountain in the solar system? Um, that would be Olympus Mons. It's a good thing that all of this happened in the same session. Otherwise, I would totally forget. What are my points? I want to say. Oh, there's more questions. You're familiar with every question. You feel confident about your answers. Oh, I see. So this is just like a knowledge check at the end. That's interesting. It's finally over. Ooh, what a load off. I bet every student feels like this after exams are over. Yes. <laughs> hey, quiet down. So what did you write for number seven? The one about what that referred to in the sentence? Um, I put her sorrowful expression. Crap, then I got it wrong. I put the rice cakes on top of the table. Rice cakes? Wait, was that what the story was about? Hmm. All right, I'm giving up on composition. I'm gonna bet it all on geography. What did you choose for the tallest mountain in the solar system? Olympus Mon. Ah, seriously? <laughs> I chose the wrong one. Oh, I put that one too. Whoa, you too? And it's probably the right answer. <sighs> Boy, I can't wait for our grades to be posted out in the hall where everyone can see them. Jeez. Hey, did you hear? A TV station's filming here in town. Okay, I need to actually take a break right now. All right. Uh, there we go. No, it's not that. You know the Hello, highway I'm nearby? Back. They're gonna cover those biker gangs that hang around there. A friend of mine goes to the biker meeting sometimes. I heard it from him. Dude. What are you doing hanging out with a guy in a biker gang? Well, anyways, what do you think about tomorrow's group blind date? We were gonna meet outside, but it's gonna rain soon, right? Won't it be better to play it safe tomorrow too? Oopsie. Biker gang? Oh yeah! They raise a ruckus from time to time. I guess your place is too far away to hear them. We live right by the road. The noise can drive you insane. I hear some guys at this school are part of it too. Yeah, I know there are some rumors about a first-year student here who's a total hellraiser. One of the guys working at Jeunesse said the dude's been a legend ever since middle school. Although, was he in a biker gang? Did... did you say he was a legend? Uh, it's not what you think, Yukiko. Today was the final day of midterms. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. Um... Hmm. Yeah, people, I think I'm actually gonna end it off over here. I thought it was gonna take longer. Or I thought it was gonna take more time to get out of this cutscene, but no. That was just literally it. If I had waited only one more minute longer, I wouldn't have to cut up this video. Alright, people, that's gonna be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dessert. I was playing Persona 4 Golden. And next episode, we're gonna go and deal with whatever comes next, because I have absolutely no idea. Goodbye. <laughs>